Hey guys, I'm LB, and I hear a cube being created in the distance because we are back playing Horologium 2 by Aesir16. And uh, by the way, he did patch up the first one, he fixed the trapping situation, so we can now rate Horologium 1 up. There we go, but let's check out Horologium 2. The second map in the Horologium series, this chamber features moving platforms, laser fields, and no portal surfaces. Alright, let's get started then. Got our clipboard. And I forgot something. There we go. I know, I'm a crazy person for playing at 30 frames per second, but I'm used to it, okay? <laughs> hmm. This turns off this death grill. Gotcha. And there's a button way over here that we'll want to put a cube on, apparently. We could do that right now. What does this- what does this even go to, though? Goes to square, right? Where is square? That is square. Okay. And this is what moves this. I see. What about this upper area? What's this about? When would I want to go up there? When do I go up there? Am I missing something? There's something up there. How do I get up there, though? Huh. Oh! Wait, what? Right, I forgot about the whole... I forgot about the whole jumping on top of yourself thing. So this is, uh... What just- what just decided for this again? That's square. Wait, I thought that was square over there. I'm an idiot, that's X. Or did, why- did I say that was square earlier? I'm a total idiot. That's clearly X and dot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Now, as for X and Dot, they, I think I saw them on that button way up there. Right. So... Let's think about this. We need to get up there at some point to turn off... these. I think we want to start up there, possibly. But how do we get the cube up there? I think we- know. I think we have to stand up there. Right, so we start up- we start a recording up there, so that way when we're actually there, and we want to go through, we can just start the recording, and then stop the recording. That'll make sense. That makes sense. But then, from there, we have to be careful to make sure that the rest of the recording is correct, because it's gonna be a pain to get back up there again. Hmm. That cube is jittering. It is concentrating very hard, like me. So after we are up there, we'll- we'll come down... And I guess... the clone will walk... through here with the cube. Right? No, the cube- the clone will put the cube on here first of all. Yeah, cause that'll move us across. Alright, so this is just- this is just for getting started to get up there in the first place. Uh, hmm. Is there a way to respawn the cube? How do we get... How do we get the cube back out of there? Like, uh... For instance, what if, uh... What if I do this? Now what? Uh... Now what? <laughs> respawn, please? By the magic of the almighty console command, I command thee to respawn. No, okay. Is there a pedestal button up there? Not that I can see. Not that it would matter anyway. Uh. Well then. Huh. This is problematic, because I can't weigh down these buttons, the clone can't weigh down these buttons, I have no way to get the cube now. Hmm. There we go. 
And the reason I'm using so many console commands instead of just pressing my keybinds as usual is because... Uh, this is Thinky with Time Machine, and in Thinky with Time Machine, the keybinds and such are different. Like, I have my 1, 2, 3 keys that I normally use for speed in Portal 2. Those are bound to the recording keys. And, uh, yeah, I don't have my other keybinds added yet, which I should probably do, since I've got two more maps after this one. Uh, no, not more, more than two maps. More than two maps, right? Oh yeah, we've got a lot of maps, so I should probably add my keybinds at some point. I'll try and remember to do that later, though. Alright, so not only does the clone have to take the cube into there, the clone has to take it back out, because otherwise we get trapped and cannot continue with the map. <laughs> this is another one that I'm guessing will have to be fixed, assuming I'm not missing something obvious as a way to untrap myself. But yeah, if the clone takes the cube in there, and then doesn't pick it up ever again, we're basically screwed. So... Let's- let's just, uh, let's start over here, right? Start recording. I'll let myself jump up onto myself or whatever. And jump up. And that should be sufficient. And then... Crap. <laughs> well, gotta start the recording over again now, because I've totally messed that up. What's the best way to do this? I guess I should put the cube... ...in a better place, right? I need it here when I'm recording, but I don't need it... ...here... No, I do need it here when I'm recording. Uh, hmm. How do I pick it up, then? How- how sensitive is- wow. Alright, so the clone can pick up from a further distance. That's something I couldn't remember. Good. So let's- let's do this again. There we go. We'll take the cube through here. We have to release it on the button. And... wait a bit. And... pick it back up again. So that we can take it back out... and put it somewhere more useful that I can actually reach. I'll just put it there, because why not? Now it's probably gonna cause problems down the line, but, uh... Who cares? <laughs> I can just stop the- I can stop the playback early. Right. Whee! There we go. Perfect. Cube on the button, please. Excellent. Now I need to wait for the clone to take the cube back out so that we don't trap ourselves. And I think I'll just stop it there. That should be fine ish. Do I even need to- I think I just need to cl record the clone up here, and then the rest is straightforward, right? Let's save... And... I think that might be all I need, really. Right? Well, I guess I need the clone to put the cube on the button. Yeah, let's do that, why not? Let's see, record. Press E. Stop recording. Right, now I put the cube into position. And I think that's all I need, right? Press play. Cause I don't like the telescope, so we can just press play whenever we want. 
Alright, so now we're getting over there. Oh, careful. Why wasn't that a light bridge, by the way? That would be much better as a light bridge, I think. Hit play. There we go. And... we're out of here. Right, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! I think this one was actually easier than the last one.